In this example, we're going to work on the order of operations when we can possibly have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, parentheses, and exponents. So on the right-hand side, we have the order of operations listed. First, you do any operations within the parentheses. Then you'll do exponents. Then you do any multiplication or division. Remember, they have the same order, and you work left to right and then the same idea for addition and subtraction, which comes last, and they have the same order from left to right. So let's start on the first one. So we have 6 minus 8, quantity squared. So sometimes we use the word quantity to represent the parentheses. That's our language. Minus 2. So let's look at our operations. We have subtraction, exponent, and subtraction. So three operations to perform. So notice this subtraction is within the parentheses. So remember parentheses is not an operation. It's a way of saying do the operation in the parentheses first regardless of the other order of operations. So first we will do 6 minus 8 and 6 minus 8 is negative 2 squared minus 2. Our next operation is the exponent, so we're going to square negative 2. So that's two factors of negative 2, and negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And finally, 4 minus 2 is 2. So our final answer is 2, and that's our result. Let's look at the next one. 3 times 7 squared plus 5. So we have multiplication, exponents, and addition. So the exponent comes first. So first we're going to do 7 squared. So we have 3 times, well 7 squared is 7 times 7, which is 49 plus 5. Next we'll do multiplication. 3 times 49, well that's 147 plus 5. Okay, And you can do some of these on your calculator or do uh, the work on the side. I'm just going to focus on the order of operations in these problems. And finally, we have 147 plus 5 which is 152. Let's work on C. So we have negative 8 squared minus 2 times negative 8 minus 7. So for operations, here we have an exponent, here we have subtraction, Notice here they're written next to each other with the negative 8 in parentheses, so that's implied multiplication and another subtraction. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 operations. The first operation we're going to do is the exponent. So negative 8 squared, two factors of negative 8, is 8 times 8, which is 64, and a negative times a negative is positive. Let's copy down the rest. Next we'll do the multiplication of 2 times negative 8. So 64 minus 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. And I put that in parentheses so we don't confuse it with the subtraction sign. Now we have two subtractions. We have to work from left to right. So first we'll do 64 minus negative 16. And again, if you need to do some work on the side, that's fine. This is equivalent to 64 plus positive 16, which is 80. And finally, 80 minus 7 is 73. Let's look at the next one. 5 times negative 3 squared plus 16 divided by 
negative 2. So here's implied multiplication. We have an exponent, we have addition, and we have division. So one, two, three, four operations. First we'll do the exponent. So negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. And again, I put it in parentheses because the parentheses were showing the implied multiplication, so I don't want to drop those parentheses. So now we have multiplication, addition, division. So multiplication and division have the same order, and this one comes first on the left. So 5 times 9 is 45. Next in the order of operations is division. So we have 45 plus 16 divided by negative 2 is negative 8. And I'm going to put that in parentheses so we don't confuse it with the addition. And 45 plus negative 8 is equivalent to 45 minus 8, which is 37. So I'm going to make some more space for these next two, so you can always rewind the video or pause it if you need to look at this more. So let's copy down letter E. 2 minus 3 times the quantity 7 squared minus 5 minus negative 4. We'll highlight our operations. We have subtraction, implied multiplication, there's an exponent, there's more subtraction, and another subtraction. So we have one, two, three, four, five steps. So we have to start with what's in the parentheses. And we have two operations in the parentheses. We have an exponent and a subtraction. So we have to follow the order of operations there as well. So first we're going to do the exponent. So 2 minus 3, 7 squared is 49, minus 5, minus negative 4. Now we'll do the subtraction in the parentheses. 2 minus 3 times 44, minus negative 4. Now we're going to do this multiplication, because we have subtraction, multiplication, subtraction. So multiplication comes next, so we have 2 minus, this would be 120, 132, minus negative 4. And again, you could do that on the side if you need to, and that's fine. Now we have two subtractions left, we're going to work left to right. 2 minus 132 is negative 130. And now our last subtraction is 130 minus negative 4. Well, that's the same as negative 130 plus a positive 4, which is negative 126. Now let's look at the last problem. Negative 5 minus negative 6 times the quantity 2 cubed minus negative 7 in parentheses. Okay, so I know this looks like a lot, so just take your highlighter, find the operations. We have subtraction. Implied multiplication is right here. In the parentheses, which we'll need to do first, we have both an exponent and subtraction. So we're going to start with the parentheses and specifically the exponent. So we'll copy everything down as we go so we don't lose anything. Negative 5 minus negative 6. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, minus negative 7. 
that we still have another operation in parentheses, negative 5 minus negative 6. Now 8 minus negative 7 is the same as 8 plus 7, which is 15. So now notice we have subtraction and multiplication next. So multiplication comes before subtraction. Negative 5 minus, well we have negative 6 times 15, that will be negative 90. And notice I'll put that in parentheses. Again, if you need to do that work on the side or check it on your calculator, that's fine. And our last step is negative 5 minus negative 90. Well, that's the same as negative 5 plus positive 90. And that would be 85. And that is our final answer.